Well, hello everybody. It's so nice to be outside here in the mountains above Val di Fiemme to be able to present to you the new products today. So with the increasing popularity in long distance trail running, it's the right time now to update one of our ever popular models, the Akasha. And here it is. This is a model which is a really go-to shoe for training and racing in ultra and long distance running. What we've wanted to do with the Akasha is to update it in a way where we give incremental improvements to be, increase the amount of comfort, increase the stability and increase the durability of the shoe without compromising any of the iconic characteristics that we know people love about the Akasha. So let's have a look at the upper here on the Akasha. One of the big changes we've made here is to the lacing area here. We're using recycled laces, but we've also changed the webbing here. And that also has some recycled content in the material. And this allows the laces to be able to move more smoothly and give a easier adjustability to the, to the lacing. We've also taken the chance to redesign the side panel here. It's in TPU and it links down to our STB control panel. And that really helps give a great foothold and prevent any, any torsional really keep the tongue in place. You'll also see here our TPU toe bumper here and also the elements here over the front part of the shoe and these give extra reinforcing and increased durability. We've also taken the chance to add some small reinforcing here around the toe box and this again is going to increase the durability on the Akasha 2. We also have our 3D mesh which is very breathable, helps transmit any heat uh, to the outside of the shoe. Inside the shoe, we've taken the chance to use our Ortholite hybrid mountain running footbed, and that's four millimeters in height, and that includes recycled content. One of the key changes here on the Akasha 2 is we're able to put in our new cushioning platform. That's a three millimeter piece of EVA, which is uh, the lining part of the shoe called the strobel, and that gives a little bit of extra cushioning without compromising any stability or adding any weight to the shoe. Looking now here at the midsole of the Akasha 2, we have a full length injection molded EVA. We also have stability element here in the shoe called the STB control panel. And again, as mentioned before, it works together with the TPU element to give you a great foothold and it's for anti-torsional stability. Now looking down here at the bottom of the shoe, you'll see one of the iconic Akasha features, which is our trail rocker system. And this is a system where it promotes a natural fluid transition from heel strike to toe off on the shoe. Also down here on the bottom of the shoe, it's our friction red outsole. And that's where we use our most sticky rubber for the, the biggest area here in black. And we use a more durable compound of sticky rubber for the high wear elements here on the trail rocker section. And of course here around at the toe area. The outsole design here is what we call our all ground outsole and we also have our impact brake system on the bigger lugs and that's where the most of the lug is in contact with the ground even when running over technical terrain. The lug height for the outsole is 4.5 millimeters. So let's talk about the deck height for the Akasha 2. It's the same as before. So we have a 25 millimeter height here at the front and a 31 at the back and that gives you a drop of six millimeters. Now let's talk about the weight of the Akasha 2. It comes in for a size 42 at 310 grams, and in a size 38, it's 260 grams. We also have the size range in the men's sizes from 38 to 49.5, and in the women's sizes, we start at 36 and go through to 43. So the Akasha 2, it's still gonna be your go-to shoe for ultra and long distance trail running activities. We've just updated it to make it a little bit more comfortable, increase the durability of the shoe, and it's still going to be a great shoe for all your running needs. So now it's time to continue with my run.